let me be the first to say, I don't think y'all are ready for how long it took me to get all the achievements, the pain and suffering I had to endure, and just the tedious journey of multiplayer and RNG related achievements all together. I started this adventure all the way back to October 27th, 2022. So buckle up and sit tight because we have one of the longest 100%s I've had to do for one of the greatest games I've had a pleasure of playing, Red Dead Redemption 2. You might be concerned about me saying I started RDR2 back in October of 2022 and that it is now the end of August 2023. However, I have a perfectly good explanation. I got pretty busy because I was actually finishing this game and all the achievements in April of 2023. Once again, I became busier and I took a break from the game to work on shorter games like the Modern Warfares and Skate 3. So before you go commenting like, bro, I did this in like two days, haha, <laughs> get good. I don't care and I don't want to know. Fight me. While Red Dead 2's PC release was pretty cool and a big step forward in a lot of ways, it was also a step backwards because of the hacker infested lobbies, dead lobbies, glitches, bugs, and just utter pain trying to grind levels on multiplayer. But hey, I'm jumping ahead. And if you guys are excited to see my journey of this game and the others in the future, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I have a lot of cool and different games that you will never expect me to cover, so be on the lookout. Thank you all for the amazing support, but let's do this. We've got a see you, Wait, oh yeah, I do. Wait, you want me to chase him? Come here, boy. Yeah, yeah, come here. Come here, boy. This game is so badass. Get him, brother. First off, the thing that you need to know about Red Dead Redemption 2 is that it is a hefty game. And I completed it in 23 streams. 23 streams of Red Dead Redemption 2. These varied from four to 14 hour sessions overall. I have all the VODs on my Twitch channel with the times, so you can check me on that if you want. So instead of me doing my usual structuring of videos, I'll break this down to make it easier for viewing. With that being said, I got my first achievement with no recorded footage at all by completing the Red Dead Online Lines intro. I got this achievement on October 27th, 2022. And then two -ish weeks later, I would officially begin the grind on November 12th, 2022. This was my first time ever touching Red Dead 2. And while learning the controls and changing my settings, I came into a problem. I like actually need my mouse cursor. And for some reason, the game does not want to give it to me. Oh, actually, you know what I have to do? Hold up. I know it's going to lag. So yeah, that was my first experience with the game. It blue screens my damn PC, but luckily I figured out the settings and continued on. I completed the first prologue mission for my first story achievement, which was just the first of many. I completed chapter one the same night and played more of the story, which is gonna be the trend for a bit. After doing a lot of random side missions, story missions, and all the sorts, I was finally able to donate enough money to no longer be called poor and unlock the give to the poor achievement. Never mind, it just did. Oh my god, we can actually update the counter. Look at us, bro. Oh my god. We're going from three to four. Let's go. Moreover, I haven't explained any of the side missions or challenges yet because, well, I'd be jumping the gun. The bear hunting, skinning, and studying every animal was pushed to the very end, so don't worry, we'll get there. Additionally, I had a trusty steed Horsenberg by my side the whole time and was able to get the max bonding level with it. And after a little tussle with Leviticus Cornwall, we packed up everything, moved out, and completed chapter two. Also, sorry if I don't go super in depth on the story or miss some things here and there it's because i'm literally trying to recollect the past and i have over 200 hours of footage to go through so please have mercy continuing i was able to get the heart of the cards on my side for playing every single mini game and i just so happened to get the take from the rich achievement which i got in a nonsensical way so i've never been in this tailor before i just lost a hundred oh he stole my money Oh my god, I was wondering, I just lost money! This man! Money? Oh, oh you're not right. Oh, this ain't oh, I gotta achieve it! Wait, take from the rich. Rob or loot $250. That's funny. I'm not getting you back up. Uh. Oh, it was just a bit of cash. Okay. 
I would upgrade everything on my old reliable, and then I would finally end chapter three, which the lead up to this was a doozy and a half, and this is where I knew that this game was different from the rest. Oh, fuck. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! I have a feeling Micah, I don't know why. Bro, I trust Bill. I think Bill was actually serious, like, or Pearson or whoever was like, oh, yeah, I got it wrong. Micah, though? For you, Arthur. Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you. They killed Sean. Damn it! I like Sean. What the fuck? Because it's it's taken over to so the Greys don't like us. They figured out everything about us. Sorry for that little inconvenience. My internet went out because it was snowing. Yeah, that's how far back this was. But after that tragedy, John's son would be kidnapped, and then we legit get to experience one of the greatest moments in this game. It was simply amazing for my first time, and I loved every single moment of it. Who steals a goddamn boy? That's what I'm saying. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Out of here. Jack? Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> this game is a masterpiece, bro. I this story is going fucking a wall. Let's go. Shoot her. Come on. What we doing with her? Leave her. I oh. told you she was crazy. Like a lot, yo. Oh, my cheapy thing didn't pop up. Oh, it did pop up. There you go. After chapter three's crazy turn of events, I would play this game for a few more streams and I would eventually drop the game for the foreseeable future. The date that I would stop playing was November 27th, 2022. And now come along with me around four to five months later when I would finally have enough time to sit down and grind the rest of RDR2. I would start out by acknowledging the elephants in the room. Other than multiplayer achievements, I absolutely despise missable achievements. These are ones where, well, yeah, it's in the name, you miss them right Right under your nose and in most cases you must replay the game all over again to one specific area or section so i tracked down and took note of a few of them which included breaking and entering errand boy friends with benefits give it to the poor which i already got and lending a hand nothing too crazy honestly and that's why i mostly hate them because they just sneak on past you and especially with rdr2 if you miss these and don't have a save then you are screwed and have to replay this long ass game again so i wanted to avoid that and got one of the missables by completing a companion activity in each camp. Chapter 4 would get even more batshit crazy with our homies going away with each bank robbery, which rest in pieces to my homies in Chapter 4, especially Lenny and my dude Hosea. What do you think, bro? What do you think is gonna happen? It's over! Shit! Abigail! Dutch! Get out here! There's your deal, Dutch. Jose. God damn it, Dutch. This is going so bad. Let's go, Lenny. Bro, did we just lose Lenny? What the fuck? And our crew would get casted away from a wild ass tropical storm. We fight our way off Guarma, get back in town, and then we get to see Arthur's health start to deteriorate, which I was not ready for, man. Can I help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. What is it? 
It's not good news. I guess that. You got tuberculosis. Tuberculosis? Really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. Oh, man. You're telling me that Arthur gets taken out by a fucking turbo by a goddamn disease? Ah, oh, fuck me, man. I love me some Arthur. What the fuck? I think of you often. Mary. Damn. And there's no Ar Arthur doesn't have children either, so there's no Arthur genetics going around? Genes? <laughs> what the fuck? You're telling me there's no, there, Arthur doesn't have bloodline? <laughs> what the fuck? He didn't, like, impregnate somebody before he went out? <laughs> what the fuck, man? After that bad news, I would complete chapter 5 for the achievement. I would also grab the self-sufficient one for crafting 30 unique items, discover the fate of Marco Dragic, which is a cool side mission, and while doing the abundance of side missions, I macked on this widower for the extreme personality achievement, and managed to sleep in her home for free, and ransack that place for the breaking and entering achievement as well. Which doesn't really make any sense, because she said I could have anything I want, but whatever. I also spent a ton of money for the pony up achievement, captured a big boy fish for the it was this big trophy and lastly i completed 10 stranger mission strands to finally be able to continue chapter six because that means i can continue the story without worry and just grind out the rest of the side missions challenges and just collect a thon objectives i started up my 11th stream of red dead 2 and instantly got the errand boy achievement for doing all the camp companion requests which is once again a missable one for well people not being uh part of the living if you know what i mean wink wink and unfortunately at the end of arthur's life we got a letter that just made it even worse a letter came for you oh okay Ooh. i know it's from that mary mary oh she ain't worth it arthur oh who is i miss you and i will always miss you but i cannot live like that and it seems you cannot live any other way and for that I will never forgive myself, but you must let me go now. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years, and I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Fuck. He just got broken up with over fucking text. <laughs> Damn, man. Now I'm really fucking depressed. Wow, we are dying from tuberculosis, got dumped, and lost our friends. Can this get any worse? <sighs> Oh man, it gets worse. But first, I helped out Sadie on one of her side missions to collect the Lending a Hand achievement. And for real, when I say this, this game got me crying. Seriously, I didn't cry on stream because it's hard to, but this scene with Sister Calderon was just tugging on my heartstrings, man. What's wrong? I'm, uh, I'm dying, Sister. No. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. Got tuberculosis. No. I got it. Bro, this game's gonna make me cry for real. I'm gonna actually cry. <clears throat> for a few bucks. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy. Well, I watched him die. Got word soon enough. I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> Gonna make me cry. Oh my god. You're too smart for me, sister. <sighs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard. Goodbye. Sister. It's gonna make me fucking cry. Progressing, we rode onto our heroic last battle with Eagle Flies and saw Dutch absolutely betray us and now I hate this guy with all my heart and I decided to blow off some steam by getting a good bathing session with a friendly woman. Could I offer some assistance? Good job. Oh, good. 
Yo, you reach it. You reach it too long. Yeah, look at Arthur. He's like, yo. Sorry, my pants are killing me. Huh? Not for what you guys think. That sounds really bad. I know it's time. My pants are just riding up on me. Huh? That's not. Has nothing to do with this. Has not. No, 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 no. It has. No, it has nothing to do. Chat. I swear to God. I. It's because I've been sitting for so long. <laughs> that sounds crazy. No, 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 no. <laughs> it sounds really bad. That's not what I meant. This is this is a video game. <laughs> I'm so very sorry to hear that. Unfortunately, everybody, Arthur's story has to come to an end. And what I like to call the last ride, like, actually got me to cry. I was just feeling it and holding back everything so I wouldn't burst out in tears on stream. But unfortunately, I can't really play this part because of the amazing soundtrack behind this scene. But it's our time to get the last achievement for Arthur's story, simply called Redemption. It's coming fast. Now! Ah! Ah! Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Landon. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Come on, brother. Let's go. Give me a second. Come on. Push, Arthur. No, not my horse. Thank you. Arthur! Come on, Arthur. Let's go. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold him off. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. Oh, what the fuck? Rat! You rat! I'm a survivor, Black Love! A survivor! That's all there is! Living and dying! God damn you! Don't tell. Now, Arthur. It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Yeah, up there on the ring. I gave you all I had. I did. I am so sorry for all those that don't know anything about this story and especially sorry for those that have played this already and having to relive this again. <laughs> Arthur's the real homie. Additionally, we are now onto John's side of the story and where most of these achievements would be obtained. I progressed through the epilogue and met up with Sadie again. It's always a nice time to catch up with an old friend, you know? Someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him, Kill him. I know what we said we do. That ain't changed. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What? What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> Why do I get a fail? <laughs> I didn't do anything.
Nothing happened out of the ordinary, except it leading into RDR 1, me just being a complete menace to some people, obtaining the Cowboy Builder achievement, and Micah getting what he freaking deserves, man. Hello, Scarface. Did you miss me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> Take a look! <laughs> Come on now, Micah! At least tell like a man! <laughs> Hellfire! It's just like old times! <laughs> All manner of folk paying social calls. Hello, son! Mrs. Adler? It's been quite a while. Now, John. Now, what were you saying? Say something, Dutch. Say something. I ain't. Got too much to say, no more. He shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good. Thank you. I, I, which would finally end out Red Dead Redemption 2's story for the Endless Summer achievement, and this is totally where I speedrun through the rest of the achievements, right? Wrong. I decided to immediately start the pain and suffering of those goddamn 70 gold medals. You've probably already heard of this from other content creators, because it is for a fact a terrible achievement. It's as simple as getting a gold medal on different story missions. It sounds simple until you realize that this game is entirely, okay, not entirely, but mostly made up of unskippable cutscenes. I love this game, don't get me wrong, but somebody please tell me that putting this achievement in RDR 2 just ruined a lot of the fun and excitement of this game. I am not kidding when I say this, but I literally took over 18 hours to get this damn achievement. One singular achievement took me over 18 hours of my life that I will never get back, and this was my journey for that achievement. <laughs> we have 19 of 70 gold missions that we have to do. Oh my f God. Wait, is this the shootout? Did I, oh it does? So I already failed. Oh my God. So I failed. Chapter one blows the, uh, yeah, give me my silver, don't care. God, what is wrong with me? Buddy, I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Yeah, you piece of shit. That should be easy clappers. Easy. 22, baby. Bro, I love me some Lenny. Boom, baby. Quiet time. That was a fun mission. That, like, how... You know what I could do? Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll make this easier for everybody, because, like, it's actually not that hard to do. I will fix this for everybody. Watch this. Now, if I get asked how many golds I have, I'm going to flip. There's no way. I'm gonna be so surprised if I got it.
I just ran. Damn. Okay. We up. We up, baby. Two more. Two more, and we'll, we'll be chilling. We'll be chilling. Cano. Whatever. Close enough. Four, zero, oh, 40, baby. Bow, bow, bow. Fuck yeah, like dead ass. 41, baby. Wait, what? Running the hit F, running the hit F, okay. I did! I did! Hide Master did this mission in one minute. He's so cool. I wanna be just like him. Yes! That kid, not you. Forty-eight, baby. We're almost at twenty left. We have twenty-two left. That's not bad. And chat, once again, we have the epilogue and shit. This is the movie by Stand by Me. Let's go. I'm here. Cat, cat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Easy gold. What? Escape the oncoming train within 19 seconds. How did I jack that up? Look. Red Dead Redemption 1, it's the same, the same stance. Look at that. The same stance as RDR1. Wait, did he hit me? Was that a hit? Probably. Was that a hit? I can't even tell if that was a hit or not. Kind of like blocked my stuff. I got it. Oh my god. I f got it. This mission right here. Old habits. Let's go. Let's f go. Yes. How did I not get it first try? Yes, go! Give me that shit. Boom, seven more. Yes! Three more, three more, and three more. That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! This game this is what i'm talking about this is what i'm talking about this is what i'm talking about right here everything can go smooth right everything goes smooth and then the one feature that the part of the game that you're supposed to do goes bad
Yes! Okay, so enough about being sappy. Enough about being sappy, hold up. And I know that sounds so weird to say. I can't stand this game. Yes! Holy shit, two out of two. Two out of two for now. I got the mesh. That was extremely oh, fast, by the way. I think we got it. I think we got it. Me and I can't let money do this. We have one mission left. <laughs> I miscounted. I got the achievement. You guys can't see it. I got the achievement. I got the achievement gold rush. I got it. Oh my god. I actually got it. I just got it. <sighs> oh my god. I got it. Oh, thank God those medals are done. But after moving on from those shenanigans, I would farm up some cigarette cards by purchasing an abundance of them to get the collector's item achievement. And I decided to pay my homies a visit for the paying respects achievement too. Jenny Kirk. Ah, oh, here it is, Davy. Davy Calendar. Calendar, let it in. Yo, Sean McGuire, rest in peace, brother. Goddamn. All right, so this is Kieran's grave. This man, he got decimated. Oh my God. Oh, here's their graves. Oh, Hosea and Lenny. R.I.P. Hosea. R.I.P. Lenny. And Lenny's death hurt for sure. Oh, here he is. Eagle flies. R.I.P. brother. You're a brave dude. Susan Grimshaw, she... Was Susan the one that got shot? No. Yeah, Susan got shot in the abdomen by Micah or Dutch. Wait, is that him? Oh, it is Arthur. Oh, oh my man, Arthur. Damn. Oh, I got the achievement. Paying respects. Wait, that's an achievement. Oh. My oh, man. Bad, do the best dude ever. God damn. Rest in peace. Damn. I'll make you proud, Arthur. I'll make you proud. Don't worry, brother. Damn. And I would basically just start trying to get every single animal studied, animal skinned, collectible strands, and just everything, man. Like everything. Not a single thing was missed, not a single location unmapped, and all of that jazz. And my next thing I would tackle would be Red Dead Online. I fortunately and unfortunately did not record any of my gameplay slash achievement unlocks for a few of them. I explain better of why in these following clips. I did not record any of myself playing Red Dead Online because one, it takes too long, not that important, and two, there are hackers galore, and it is atrocious. It is not good. So the, the online achievements that I've gotten, which was since yesterday and the day before, I got complete a free roam mission as part of a posse, super easy, don't need, you know, that, pick 25 herbs, Form a persistent posse, which is by spending $200 to make a persistent posse. And then successfully counter a rival posse. I farmed that with Cucumber. He started his own posse. I had my own posse. I countered his mission. Easy. Reach rank 10. Reach rank 10. Achieve five gold buckles. You unlock that super easy. Like, all these are easy. They're not hard. Play fr uh, five free roam events. That happens every hour. So one free roam event happens every 60 minutes, play it, and then accept 10 free roam missions from characters. That is literally exactly the part of online. You play missions with, you know, 
characters, whatever. And to take part in a series is the multiplayer um, list of like, you know, showdowns, do like, you know, whatever races and all that shit. So yeah, that's all I did. That's all I did. These achievements literally unlocked themselves as they went on. So I hope that helps you all understand why I didn't record it and which ones I unlocked. And I didn't really specify what the hackers did, but it's mostly because the hackers like to target streamers. And on top of that, there were a few hackers saying racist things, slurs, closing my game, and you know, all of that. But the lucky thing about playing on PC, finally, is that I was able to make my own private server so I could actually gain achievements, stream, and let my friends and viewers play with me, which is exactly what I did. I made a server, invited my viewers to play and farm with me, and we unlocked the MVP achievement and butchered for some of those pesky online achievements. I would next attempt to get the fun achievement, Bountiful, which is as simple as going to each state, causing a ruckus to build up your bounty, and survive. And me being the oblivious dude I am, I was just trying to rob stores to get it, but I unfortunately started a domino effect with this. I want to melee this guy. I want to knock him out. You go to jail for this. People in there. Oh, come on. You okay, girl? I didn't mean to get I didn't mean to do that at all. I did not I was trying to knock him out and it didn't it just hit him and I did it again and it fucking executed him. <laughs> yeah, technically that did knock him out. <laughs> it knocked him out permanently. <laughs> Shit. Here we go. Achievement. But we got it. Let's go, baby. I didn't hear the sound, but it's okay. Oh my god. We have 10 achievements left. Holy macaroni. And on my uh, 18th day, what the hell? I would only manage to gain a total of zero achievements. Cool. But the reason why that happened was because I spent over 10 hours gambling. Don't gamble, kids. But for those that don't know what I mean, the gambler challenges are the epitome of RNG madness. Now don't get me wrong. I love poker. It's extremely fun when not losing money and playing playing for fun, but you must do 10 challenges that involve gambling or those little mini games. Also, I'm not going to go in depth on the other challenges because they weren't as bad and mostly required animal spawns, grinding fish species, and just doing specific things for each one. So continuing, I easily got Gambler 1's challenge smoothly. Gambler 2 wasn't all too bad either, but purely RNG. Gambler 3 was kind of a mess because I choked a lot. Gambler 4 was easy as well with no big problems. Gambler 5 luckily gave me no problems either, but dominoes in this game can suck my ass. Gambler 6 wasn't bad either because blackjack is blackjack. Gambler 7 was another easy one, kinda, because it's just quick time events, and you can versus people that are easy, and then comes in a big heavy hitter. Gambler 8. And this is where everything started to get out of hand, no pun intended. It sounds easy enough to win 3 hands of blackjack, but good god, winning 3 hands and with 3 hits or more felt impossible. I spent over over two hours trying over and over and over to just be able to beat this damn challenge. But after a bit, I finally got what I needed. No more bets. My last name is Rare. What's your last name and your social security number? 13. God, I hate life. I hate this game. 13. I want to be done yep. with Blackjack. Card. And 14. Give me card. 17. Pause. Chat. Pause. Stop the conversations. One through four, it doesn't matter. I actually need a high number. Or low number. Yeah. Oh, fuck me, dude. 19. Fuck me, dude. 16. Gone. 18. That's how we play. Good for you. Guess I better head off. Thank you for playing. We have to win three games of dominoes in a row. Oh my fucking god. 
and Gambler 9 was 10 times worse than that. I absolutely am not lying when I say this, but I spent over four hours back to back to back playing Dominoes over and over. Dominoes is a terrible game and I don't care. Sometimes I'd get a good streak going with two wins in a row, then all of a sudden one of those bastards would just target my domino spots and win, and then you have to restart all over. And if I recall, there is a strat to I think you can exploit by quitting and saving out right before you lose or something, but I'm not a little bitch or I didn't know about it, so I did this all legitimately on my Twitch channel over at Yoma97. Go check it out. But after hours of failures, raging, crying, and just losing all hope, I made those domino players lose and conquered this dumb challenge. Watch this. Domino, there is one of three. There we go. Bitch. And domino. Okay. Okay. We need one more win. This is the last yeah, game to win. If he can play the six, I can get his tiles right now. He needs to play on the six. If he plays on the six, we win. Play on the six. 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 Oh my god, we did it. Get me to the victor, the sports. Damn, I'm sorry about that. I'm saving first. Which Gambler 10's challenge of winning three hands of poker in a row quite literally took me 10 minutes of doing it to master. I hate dominoes. I hate dominoes. I hate dominoes. And I absolutely hate dominoes. You can go all in. That's one. Wait a minute. Chat, that's one. Okay. Fold. I'll skip this. Two for three. Wait, two for three. Two for three. One more. Wait a minute. You're feeling bold today, All aren't in. you? It can't be. Call. No, 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 no. Pairs of fives. Damn it. Mm. That's one. I'm too low to keep playing. I'll be seeing you. That took All me right, ten and a half a hours. <sighs> well, at least those gambler challenges are out of the way, but that wouldn't stop this game from throwing more RNG at me and grindfest challenges. I spent my 19th, 20th, and 21st streams grinding challenges, hunting, skinning animals, and completing anything and everything the game wants. I'm sounding like a broken record here because I am a broken person at this point, so after three days of averaging nine hours of stream time, on my 22nd stream, good god man, I hunted some exotic animals animals for a side collectible mission, obtained a stuffed squirrel, which I'll explain in a hot minute, put it up on a fireplace, and got one of the grindiest achievements I've ever had to go for in any game I've ever played. Art. Oh, that's what they call it. Hmm. Art. I like it. Yeah, what the fuck are those dolls? That... Holding up okay? Wait. Oh, it goes straight to a car. We're just about done, my friend. Oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Aw, that's really fucking sad. That is so sweet, too. Man. So when you complete the 100%, you literally are like, you come back to Arthur and you're like, yeah, that's it all, pal. Then, okay, we're not done. Just FYI, um, sappy story over, Arthur, you're a fucking G, but uh, our adventure is not done, as you can see. We are not done. We still have one achievement that we gotta do, which is about art. 
And really the only thing I need to explain about the It's Art achievement is that you need a lot of perfect carcasses from birds to rats to beavers and etc. I've been consistently hunting, studying, and collecting carcasses for my whole playthrough because animals become harder to find as time goes on, so I was easily able to unlock this achievement by just timing it all together. Abigail, you crazy ass. What the f What the hell, Abigail? Well, everybody, it's been my pleasure narrating this journey. It is finally time to end this damn cowboy depressing simulator game by showing the last few achievements of Red Dead Redemption 2. It's time. We are here. You guys may not believe me, but this is it. This is the this is the last stream of Red Dead 2. I have done 23 streams, streams. but let me explain really, really quick. So here are the achievements. We have five achievements online left. I am rank 49 out of 50. The Steam does this really weird like stuff like that, but I am rank 49 out of 50 because there is double XP for, for Red Dead Online that I've been taking advantage of. And then purchase five camp improvements, easy, super easy. Craft 25 pieces of ammunition. I'm ready to finish it out. I have the ingredients. Craft 20 items, excluding ammo. I have like horse tonics I'm ready to. I already have over 10, because obviously 55 over 100 is already over 10. So then that's it. Literally, we're going to be done with online in a matter of minutes. Okay. And then... For the story, I, this is where I pulled this up, I have one animal left to, to study. As you guys can see, study every animal, 99 out of 100%. There's 168 animals in this game. One more animal to study, and then one more animal to skin. 98 out of 100, because there's less animals to skin than there are to study. And then that's it for skin deep and zoologist. And then the bear achievement, I was actually working on this last night, off stream i need around two or three more bears and then we have 100 percented this game four five boom gambling is addictive or it's very We're knocking them out, baby. We're knocking them out. I'm telling you guys, we're knocking these motherfuckers out. So All right, at least halfway through, that's just for one. Oh. We're finishing this shit out, baby. Oh my God, okay. We're unlocking these. Ba this is actually, I think, one of the rarest achievements for online because it costs like a lot of money. Here we go. Level 50. <laughs> God. I don't have to ever touch. Oh, chat. You guys don't have, you guys have zero clue. You have zero clue how much I've grinded online to get the level 50. We're looking for a toad, which toads do live by water. Are they like swamps and stuff like that? No, what?
zoologist. Chat, I don't I don't think you guys realize. That is one of the Dude, longest what a rush. That is this is part one of three of the longest achievements in the game. Seriously. And you guys got to witness it be unlocked. It is hands down some of the most grindiest RNG induced and patience inducing everything that you have to do. Come on. Dude, sheep are not rare. Like, seriously, sheep are not rare. It can't be this hard to find. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go up to the Grizzlies. No, what? Chat? We found it. Oh my god, chat. I'm not even joking when I say this. It, it, the way that I'm put, like I'm making the seam, this was not easy. 168 animals, all based on RNG where they spawn. Birds are the worst. Some of them have higher spawn rates than not than others. And sometimes you have to exploit this. Oh my god. Fantastic. Okay, we're looking for bears. We're looking for bears. We're looking for bears. Saw a couple bears. Oh! If you're looking for some, just hit up your Found one! Club. Ah! 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 Get him! Get him! Ah! Jesus! Christ! Get him! If you hear this, it means you are a furry. <laughs> Hey, yo, chat, if you guys saw a grizzly bear in real life, what would you guys do? Oh, I heard something. Wait, the bear's getting attacked. That's my bear. Oh, my God. It's over. My God, I can't believe we did it. What a wild, wild journey. But if you all happen to enjoy that, make sure to subscribe, like, and to check out my last video of obtaining the Crash Trilogy's achievements back to back, and to check out my playlist for more 100%. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.